Hello and welcome back to episode 93 of our Oxygen Not Included Let's Play series. Let's get straight to it. Uh, we can go ahead and turn off all this. Oops. I don't think we really care to make any more ceramic. And we, in this episode, will hopefully make a little bit more progress on getting to space. We've really been delayed by quite a few things. Mainly just little problems at home that we didn't really resolve. Oops. What do we got? Vitamin chews, slickster eggs, and two dupes that we do not want. Uh... Sure, let's grab the Slickster eggs, I suppose. How do I manage this? Is an interesting question. Alright, so we print these eggs. Yeah, we might need to rethink a lot of our starting area stuff now that... Uh, now that it prints fish and slicksters and all these other sort of things. Let's go ahead and turn off all of our ceramic production first though. Because I think we're just going to start feeding the clay to hatches. And we don't need any more refined carbon as well. Go ahead and turn that off. Not that we're hurting for coal, but we just don't really need much more ceramic. I mean, we could turn the ceramic into into sand and use that to make some more glass, but we're not really hurting on glass either. Uh, we also might want to do that um, just so that we can get the molten glass. Uh, glass forge is one of your ways of basically heating things up to really high temperatures. Um, this glass forge outputs glass at 2,000 degrees Celsius, which is pretty much hotter than anything else you can you can do. Um, so, <clears throat> being able to have sand to produce glass to heat things up to you know magma or whatever uh, is also one of the things to consider. Okay, invalid building location. Oh, that's right. Our system works differently now. Okay, um, go ahead and deconstruct all the stuff that we just built. Because um, now drywall does not work like it did in the past. Okay, let's get back to it. So, another thing we want to do... We want to move this down, basically one layer. And we're going to say deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. I suppose we don't need this one, but I'll put it here just because it'll look a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's the plan. What's our germ situation? We have slime lung up in here? It's not quite what I want to see. Oh, because there's polluted oxygen in here, isn't there? Okay. Um, hmm. And where did the polluted oxygen come from? Just the slime sitting here? How did this get here? How do I have a germ pocket right there? Interesting. Um, okay, well let's also, I suppose while we're at it, go ahead and build ourselves just a granite tile right here. And a deodorizer. Not that we have significant problems here, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and clean up this air a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to move this down a little bit. That way we can stick in some uh, AtmoSuit checkpoints. And AtmoSuit docks. And have our system run like that. Sweep. Sweep. Sweep it all up into here. Fifty degrees, that's fine. We have all this oxygen. Tons of oxygen. Alright, now we're getting the chlorine out. Slowly. Yeah, we're just going to basically vacuum out this whole area and then fill it with oxygen. And then there's all sorts of stuff we can do with that new space. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up 
our little place right here. Furniture. Blank canvas. Uh, gold amalgam's great. We'll just do a copy of our others. Not that this is really the most efficient structure that we have, I think, but I like it. Hanging pots. Make these out of gold amalgam as well. Alright. Uh, whoops. Set this to open. Set this to open. Looking good. And just in case we print any more dupes, we'll have a way to do that. Okay, we have these larva eggs that we kind of want to do something with. Um, yeah, let's just shove them down here, I suppose. Uh, and set this priority to be really high for now. And just try and get more of these larvae down here. These guys are kind of starving, but they're not really starving. There's there's a flow of CO2 coming in here. We see them constantly going starving and not starving. This area needs to be reworked a little bit, but it's fine for now. Let's just try and get these eggs out of here. I don't want them really producing a lot of oil and stuff up here. Also, I just don't think the temperature is right for them. I don't remember what the, the range is, but can't be that good for them. More progress on this. Excellent. Alright. So, space. How are we doing? Let's go ahead and uh, deconstruct the rest of these. And then we will put some uh, some checkpoints and docks here, I think, is the plan. Yeah. I think that is the plan. I think this temperature will be fine for now. Uh, and we're, we're safe to put things right there. Stations... We want to do it right now. Is there any other work we want to do here first? I guess there is a little bit that we want to do. Okay. In any case, we want to uh, set up our gantry. I also wonder if we want to start deconstructing these ladders. They're kind of useful right now. Gantry goes right here. It's going to need to deconstruct this at least. Set that to a 7. Uh, we're also going to need to set up a power system so that we can uh, invalid building location. Why? Why are these invalid building locations? Okay, let's cancel this for now. I'm not sure why these aren't being built. But, okay, let's just say we build it out of granite. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's also have an order to deconstruct these. Not invalid locations now. Huh, interesting. So I think the update kind of slightly broke some things. That's fine. I can live with that. Uh, this is deconstructed, which means rocketry, gantry. Yeah, we want to set up our gantry right here. I believe this is the correct location, right? And then we will set up um, like a door right here, I suppose. Yeah. That's the plan. I think we'll have our power for this whole thing right here. And I don't think granite tile was quite what I wanted here, but I wasn't sure why it wasn't doing it with the plastic and steel, so we'll just do this. No problem. Oh, the lag. We can also go ahead and deconstruct, deconstruct, uh, deconstruct, 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 get rid of all this, does not do anything for us anymore.
We'll need a cooling system to go through here, but we already have sort of a way to set that up pretty easily. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and deconstruct any of this stuff. Yeah. And automation. Deconstruct that. Alright. So we're getting all that set up. Uh, I did not want that there. Mm, my bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and say mechanized airlock. I'll make this out of steel, because uh, now I have this here. Okay, deconstruct this. There's a little bit of oxygen here, weirdly enough. Once we deconstruct this, actually, we should probably vacuum most of it out and be fine. Okay. How are we coming along? What do we have left to do? Okay. So we want to finish up that like so. I think we're ready to, to seal it off. What does our plumbing look like? Okay. So liquid oxygen gets pumped in this pump, um, comes out here, then we eventually supply it to our rocket. We have water coming in here. That's great. All right. So this system is roughly the way we want it to be. Uh, this gas vent needs to be connected to an oxygen line. That still needs to be done. Um, but other than that, things look pretty good. So the hydrogen comes down here. Uh, if this is on, it will go into the uh, thermoregulator. Otherwise, it will skip. Right, this is, I have a gas bridge. Wow, that's annoying. Um, why is it changing positions? Okay, gas bridge, thermoregular, insulated gas pipe. Hydrogen, I go to my automation. This has my sensor, which will say if the temperature is correct, you turn the thermoregulator on. All right, so, okay. So we have our hydrogen cooling loop, right? A lot of uh, wiggly stuff over here to uh, transfer heat, or really to absorb heat in this case. Um, it comes down here and it gets cooled. If the temperature is um, high enough, basically, uh, it'll turn on this, um, turn on this thermoregulator and it will cool it down and dump heat into these surroundings. And if it is uh, too cold and we don't want to uh, run the thermoregulator, we'll just have the thing pass through here and come back up here. Right, and it's basically going through three of these. So there's a lot of potential cooling, but for the most part, we'll just be having this run in once we're in steady state and these others won't be doing anything. They're just, they're all, uh, uh, they're all on a chain. We don't have sort of a parallel loop going on. Okay. Uh, also in automation, this thermo sensor is deciding when water gets put in and when this gas pump runs, right? So we're waiting until the steam gets to a certain temperature and then we're going to start pumping it out and we're also going to start dumping some water here. Uh, we also have a filter gate. What is this set to right now? Filter gate set at 10 seconds. So we're going to be pumping for 10 seconds before this turns on. Sounds good. We can always change this if need be. What else do we have in automation? Here is a filter gate. Uh, it is connected to this thermo sensor. It will turn on, this thermo sensor will turn on this pump when the temperature gets sufficiently cold because we only want to be pumping out really cold liquid oxygen at the start because we're going to need to cool off our pipes effectively. Um, and then we also want it to control our inflow of fresh oxygen. 
So we'll start pumping stuff out, but then we'll also start pumping new oxygen in. Uh, so this filter gate is set to 10 seconds as well. All right, so the main thing we need here is we need a oxygen line to come across, right? Before we seal this off and then the whole system will be ready to run. So, we could just have these empty back out into into some sort of system over here. Um, in fact, we need to get an oxygen line down to here as well. So maybe just kill two birds with one stone. Seems like a plan. Yeah, I think we need to run uh, run an oxygen line from this whole system here to uh, down to where we have here. Okay, so let's go ahead and say ventilation, gas pipe, uh, igneous rock is fine, and we will run a big line just like so. Easy peasy. Uh, we need to replace this with granite tile. That's good. And what else do we need? Uh, do we need any gas bridges? Anything like that? Looks like the answer is no. Okay, so this is our... Let me check this again. We have our liquid shutoff valve, and then we have a liquid valve. This flow rate is set to zero right now. Pipe blocked. Okay, so this does have water in it right now, but this is set to zero. Okay, so let's see. No power to this as well. Um, oh, because it's connected up to here, which is going to be powering all these. Uh, we might need actually another another one of these, won't we? Um, okay. Let's stick out these and get ourselves a little bit more space. And we're probably going to set up another coal generator. What wire are we using? Conductive wire. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Um, yeah, so we're going to, to tile in these right here, and then dig out these, and then tile in this. Basically just compress this all a little bit to give us a little bit more uh, breathing room here. Uh, that has germs on it. All right. Might as well go ahead and do this as well. Okay. So I want to set up... I want to set up our checkpoint system right here. So we want to have oxygen flow into there. Uh, we also would like to... Yeah, we're gonna have another checkpoint system up here to worry about. Okay. So stations. I think we set up the Atmosuit checkpoint now. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's good. Um... Could make it out of steel. I don't think that's really necessary. We're just gonna stick with iron. And then we are going to have at least a few Atmos suit docks. Let's do four for now. I don't think we're gonna need more, but maybe. We have space for an extra couple if, if we need it. And yeah. One, two. Yeah, I'm wondering if I want to set up these now, but I think it, we're fine setting so up now. I don't really have a lot of important stuff I want them to be doing over here. I mean, they're doing some ice and stuff, but other than that, not really that critical. Okay, so we're going to tile in these areas. We're going to build out this uh, oxygen line. We are going to run it across. Let's go ahead and finish up that. We're going to take this oxygen line, and we are going to run it across... It's already fairly cold having come out here, I suppose. 15 degrees. Eh, we could pre-cool it. Is that worth it? I think the answer is no. Um, I do think we want... 
Oh, this hydrogen line is just not in use right now, uh, but I guess we want to connect it up to something else eventually. Um, let's run it down here, though, because we need it to get it up here. We need to get it down here already. Oops, ventilation. Gas pipe, igneous rock. We need to get it to come down here to connect up to these, so we might as well, I suppose. Um, and then we will run it up like so. And do we want both a gas valve and a gas shutoff like we have in our other system uh, with a liquid valve, liquid shutoff? I think so, because I think we do want to control the rate as well, potentially. So let's go ahead and set up. Oh, that's a little awkward. Um, set it up like this. Can I put it here? I can't, right? Okay. So we want to put it actually right here. Yeah. Put this right here, and then a gas shut off. You can also make this out of iron. Put that right here. Gas pipe, igneous rock. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, cancel, 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 uh, cancel. Uh, other way around. Ventilation, gas shut off. Let's do it correctly this time. There we go. Gas pipe, igneous rock. Connect up like so. Um, and I guess we'll make this last part insulated just in case. Actually, hmm. let's have everything from this point on be insulated because we might want to re Re redo some things later on and having this be insulated gas pipe could be useful in that scenario. It isn't necessary right now, but kind of just future proofing our designs. Okay, and the other part we want to do is set up the automation so that there's a filter and then uh, yeah, and then we have uh, automation wire iron is fine just connecting up like so. Okay, took a while, but I think we have our whole system in place here. We are ready to go ahead and mechanized airlock, make this out of steel. In fact, while we're at it, uh, maybe we just, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, Let's go ahead, actually, and we are going to... Yeah, in the next episode, we'll deconstruct this, we'll make this out of insulation as well, and we'll set up our little airlock system right here, um, and then we will... Uh, well, hmm. yeah, I think we want to set up an airlock system right here, just to make sure that anybody coming through here... Because we'll, we'll, we might get rid of this eventually um, as we expand out the system. We want to have a little airlock system out here, I think, uh, to make sure that our... Our astronauts are all suited up before they go in here. And then we'll set up the power system right here. Probably in these two things right here. I think that's the plan. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to call it here. And I will see you guys in the next one.